Hello everyone, welcome to this video about App Tessy. Tessy is an innovative and powerful tool that allows Tesla owners to unlock new capabilities and enhance their driving experience in ways they never thought possible. Whether you are a long-time Tesla owner or a new driver, App Tessy is a must-have addition to your vehicle. Join us as we explore many features and benefits of this powerful app and discover how it can help you to get the most of your Tesla driving experience. Tessy also has 4.8 out of 5 stars in the App Store with 2,462 reviews. Now let's get started. First, you need to authorize your Tesla account so Tessy can communicate with your vehicle. After the authorization is done, you will take to the welcome page. This will give you a brief introduction of what this app offers. I think the most part is automatic tracking and you can control your car using Siri and I will go dive in more after we launch the app. The app itself is free to download, but in order to use all the features, you have to pay a subscription. But with my link in the description, you will get 30 days for free to try it out. If you don't like it, you can always cancel it anytime. If you like it, it will be $4.99 per month. This app will bring a lot of values to your Tesla ownership experience. It has data logging, Apple Watch app, desk web app, voice control, drive history analytics, charge history analytics, idle history analytics, cost projection, battery health monitoring, alerts, iOS shortcuts, data export, developer API, and there are so many things you can do with this app. After account activation, first thing you will see, there's a weather logo on the top right corner. This section shows internal and external temperature, sunrise, sunset, what the temperature feels like, wind speed, humidity, and so many more detailed informations you will not get from the Tesla app. Now let's take a look at the quick access menu. It has a lot of functions that you can just control with one click. Here is the main menu. It has climate, battery, tire, schedule, drive, charge. Let's take a look at the climate. You can see the internal temperature, control the heat seats, steering wheel, turn on the dog modes, camp mode, bio defense, climate, defrost. In the battery section, it shows how much charge they have, how much range it can drive, and also the real world range. This part is really interesting because it can vary depends how you drive. Here shows I have a range 216 miles, but real world I can drive 236 miles. This is because I was driving pretty chill. I didn't drive fast. I kept around 40 miles per hour. And the range was based on historic energy efficiency. Like I said, if you drive fast, your real world range probably low. It also has tire pressure, you can check all four tires. And for schedule, you can schedule a departure time or a charging time. One of the best feature I love about this app is drive. In drive section, it shows you all the trips you had, locations, battery consumption, time, and the miles you drove. Also, how much fuel you would spend if you drive a gas car, and the speed, elevation, battery, range, energy, odometer, interior temperature, outside temperature. It has really detailed view for everything. You can export as Excel sheets or you can delete the trip. Under activities section, you can see last 24 hour or any specific time period, graphs, battery charge, range, odometer, speed, interior temperature, and exterior temperature. This records 24 seven data. You can always check anytime you need it to. Next, under alerts, there are so many things you can set, allow notifications to get alert, let you know the low tire pressure, GPS air, low battery. There are so many things you can set up. Depends personal needs. Next, I'll show you how to use Siri to control your car. In shortcuts, you have to add action Apps, select, Tessie. There are so many things you can do. Flashlights, unlock, unlock, honk, 
remote start, side temperature, start charging. But as an example, I'm only to show you guys how to open and close rear trunk. That's where you're gonna select and click on it, rename this to open rear trunk. After it's done, click the arrow, select vehicle, model Y, and turn off show when run. After you finish the first one, you can hold it, click duplicate. This will just duplicate the action. And next, all you need to do is to change the name. Instead of open rear trunk, you can change to close rear trunk and make sure to do the same settings. Now let's test it out. Open rear trunk. Okay. Close rear trunk. That's done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing features of App Taxi for your Tesla. To get started with the app, make sure to use the link in the description to get 30 days free trial. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe button on my channel for more informative videos on the latest Tesla updates and the innovations. Stay tuned for more exciting content and helpful tips for Tesla owners. Thanks for supporting my channel and I will see you in the next one.